Good morning, guys. I am going to be vlogging today. Hello. Hello. So we're just having a quick breakfast before we start our day. Luca, what are you eating? Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe and what? Panettone. Panettone is our favorite. It's the only time we get to eat it is before the holidays because we don't allow ourselves usually, but it's so good, right? So I figured I have not vlogged in a minute, so we are gonna do a come to work with me today. Today I am going to film some content, but before that I have an 8 a.m. appointment with Dr. Bernstein, so we're gonna go get my quarterly little, I don't know, what do I call it? Little refresh, a little fresh. We're gonna do a quarterly refresh, then go work and create some content for some clients. I have a bunch of work today, including doing some fun stuff. <laughs> Luca is gonna do her job. What's your job? Going to school. Going to school. <laughs> so Luca's job to go to school is gonna be very good. We're gonna go do that. It's supposed to be a snowstorm today also, which is gonna be interesting. For those of you guys who are in warm climates, you'll be able to see what a Canadian snow dump looks like. So I will film that for you guys as well. But yeah. <laughs> I haven't done a little update of what the house looks like on here. I feel like the last time I showed you guys, the curtains were not installed. So I have to show you guys what they look like. These are from CNM Textiles. It's like here to here yeah. to there. It wraps all around. Please excuse the mess on the counter. It's the morning and we're getting it ready. I know. I'm going to show the curtains now. So they're on like a ceiling track and they just like fall beautifully. Right, Shrimp? Uh -huh. These are the ones we did for the living room. Sorry, it's still dark outside. Luca and I wake up really early. So uh, these are the curtains for the living room. You see there the little fold. It's the vent. We have the vent for the, for the um, heating and AC system. We have like a, I don't know, like a an in the floor system. But uh, yeah, that's what it looks like here. We did wall to wall mount. And uh, this is what the living room looks like with the curtains which i love and i'll show you the ones in my office when i'm later on when i'm upstairs i went to 4110 to get some christmas presents yesterday and i picked up the miami beach azuline book and i'm like oh luca i didn't even show you what? i got the miami beach book Yay. so we'll go through it later she can see the pictures but like luca's new favorite place in the world is miami so we're excited about that so the snow has officially started. We need to get Luca to school. First, we need to make the bed. Bed made. I personally can't start the day without the bed being made. It's kind of my thing. I love a good bouge bed. I like to come home and know that if I want to, I can crawl into like crisp, clean sheets, nice made bed. I got this from Second Life Jewels. I'm in like complete obsession mode by it. They sent me a Christmas gift last night. I need to text them to thank them. They're so sweet. They sent, um, they sent me this beautiful wallet on chain like the pocket at the back and everything it looks so beautiful and they sent me a few pieces of jewelry that i'll show you guys in a little bit okay so i bought these acne jeans yesterday i just had them altered by um 4110 that's where i bought them but they have their own alteration guy i am obsessed with them i will put the name down below you guys can dm like look how good they are wait like the fit is so good they're like fitted around the waist um they didn't have my size but they were able to take them in which was awesome and i kept them nice and loose on the legs so i'm gonna wear these today like look at the bum they give i'm obsessed with these i need to go find something else to wear with it because i can't go do drop off like this but also just for makeup today i'm barely i'm just wearing a bit of Blush, concealer, and like a bit of mascara because with Dr. Bernstein, he takes it off anyways. So there's no point. I just wanted to look kind of acceptable for drop off and the snow's getting hard. So we're gonna go. So my Farfetch code is still valid for a few days. I will link this belt below, which in my opinion is like the most needed belt um, of the season. I'm gonna link it down below. My code works on it also. My coat is Heartloom and I'm just gonna go put on some boots. I'm eating this snow. You are. 
Okay, we gotta hurry up because it's gonna take us a little bit longer to walk to school this morning. Oh yeah, yeah, let's go, snowstorm life. This is legit, very legit. <laughs> I'm like, what was the point? I was gonna wear my cute coat and then I was like, no, puffer, puffer. Just dropped off Luca, thank God I'm not wearing any makeup aside from a bit of blush and mascara from my appointment because it would have been scrapped. Okay, let's go dry up and go to work. Tried to fix my makeup a little bit. My mascara is still a mess. It's all wet though, but we gotta go to work. We don't have time for this. Problem number one of the day, my dad just saved my butt right here. Uh, he's bringing me to work because my car, the battery on my remote starter died. I couldn't get into my car. That's the problem of new technology. And I can't find my spare key anywhere. And I can't get into my car and I can't go to work. So luckily, my parents are my neighbors and my job this morning is 10 minutes away so papa's gonna drive me it's not bad honestly i thought it was gonna be worse considering it's the first snowstorm of the year i feel like people forget how to drive when it gets bad annoyed that i don't have time to stop here because it's the best coffee let's go to vic The role is an all-encompassing one in which we... Let me put some, some numbing stuff on your lips. Sounds good. Lips I'm vlogging for my own personal vlog today, by the way. So I'm filming for Vic Park and I'm vlogging for myself. So, yeah, exactly. So we're going to do some lip numbing. Yep. Okay. This kind of numbing is really easy. It doesn't hurt at all. I mean, filler to me is not painful. Which is amazing. Because of course, filler is a little bit more than Botox, right? Because yeah. it's a slightly larger needle and you're pushing something through that has a density because it's literally filling. Whereas Botox, it's just a solution, right? It's just a liquid through the smallest needle that we can find. Maybe I just get very excited because I love filler yeah. so much. <laughs> really exactly. Filler, don't feel anything, I'm like, right? my lips, I feel nothing. <laughs> I am good to go. So here we are. We are doing my lips today. We're going to do Botox because I'm at, I'm at four months, yeah, right? Yeah, you're, you're there. You're so there. I'm at my quarterly. So this is moving. At rest, it still looks great. I feel like that's yeah. the whole thing with Botox. Like at rest, it looks nothing really cracks, but like this is like wild. You've been doing it for a while. The I've been doing it for the, 10 years. Unbelievable. The cosmetic effect of Botox can last longer. The physiological effect is always four months. So in other words, after four yeah. months, it will always start to move. But because you've been doing it for a long time, it still looks good after the four months. Yeah. And I've trained my before. face, essentially. That's right. <laughs> that's right. You, you, you really do. One, two, three, try. I know you're used to it. You cannot even flinch. Very good. One, two, three. How many units are we up to? Perfect. We're going to put 20 units in your corbella. And we'll put 12 across your forehead and another 12 around the eyes. The eyes for me was game changer. I held off doing it for such a long time. And I feel, it's, I feel like it's what makes the biggest difference on my face, I feel like. It's amazing, actually. Because what's neat about it around the eyes is the other ones you're using the muscle, right? So when you frown, mm -hmm. you use your glabellar muscle complex, right? You frown. Yeah. When you smile, that's when these crease, right? The crow's feet crease. So those aren't muscles they're using, they're strictly reflexive. So your smile is never going to be changed by having Botox here. It's just when you smile, it won't crease. Oh, that's a good that's point. That's one of the most yeah. interesting areas. Can do one more in there. We'll do a little bit more in the forehead. You're good? I'm good. good. So that's actually one of the more interesting areas and it works so extremely well. And it's... It really makes you look refreshed, I feel, the eye. 
Agreed. It helps open up the eyes a little bit Absolutely. too. Absolutely. And I, I feel like I have very big eyes. Which is terrific. <laughs> yeah. And Nobody it really, complains about that. it gives like a nice like almond shape. Uh, absolutely, Botox definitely works on the muscles that are responsible for eye shape. My thing with my lips is I find my upper is a little bit small. I feel like the um, filler has really diminished. Dr. Bernstein says I'm good and I trust his judgment. So we're just gonna work on the contour of the lip, like the Cupid's bow. I like like a pronounced Cupid's bow. I know the Gen Z trend is the straight across. You're I don't good. love You're that. You're right on, me neither. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I really like right like on. a good defined uh, Cupid's bow. Most important thing when you do lips is it a good defined Cupid's bow. It's I just find it so yeah. beautiful. And some, I don't wear lipstick, so like, I feel like it's so important just like with my chapstick. It just looks so well, like it looks cute, you know? to just have that defined here. So that's what we're yeah, gonna work on. A hundred percent, totally agree with you. So we're gonna do that now. Dr. Brinson, can we do one side just sure. to show the before and the sure. after? Let's do that. Okay, so we will do that now. This side is done, this side is not. The difference is wild. <laughs> Love it. I'm just waiting around to film content. Also icing my lips. <laughs> So I was supposed to go to another meeting. The snow canceled it, which actually works in my favor because to be honest, um, I have a lot of stuff to do at home. I have a ton of Instagram work that I need to do. I have like reels that I need to edit. So it actually works out quite well for me. Hey, cow piggy. <sighs> so my lips are swollen. I'm gonna go, uh, I was gonna say touch up my makeup, but I feel like I just need to wash my face and redo my makeup at this point. Okay, so Luca and I made a terrarium last weekend and the cat, you know how cats just like whip stuff on the floor? He whipped it on the floor and it got all mixed up. And then Luca overwatered it and I was like, oh my God, we totally killed it. And I was like, babe, it might not work, but it worked. Do you see that? There's like a little, see that right there? It's happening. She's going to be so excited. She was so disappointed yesterday when I told her I didn't think it was going to work. Look, look, it's like sprouting. Oh my God, she's going to be so happy. I moved it into the bathroom. I had it on the windowsill here, which by the way, check out the snow. It's becoming epic. Um, so I had it on the windowsill here. I think it was too cold. So I'm going to go back and put it back in the bathroom. But winning, look at that. My kid's gonna be so happy. I have not done a sit down makeup anything in forever because I don't consider myself a makeup person. I don't actually think I'm very good at doing my makeup, but you guys ask me a lot about my makeup. So I thought I would show you guys while I'm doing a vlog. So I have a Zoom call in 10 minutes or 15 minutes actually. And I just need to put on a little bit of makeup just because I mean, I'm not wearing any right now. And my lips are swollen because I mean, obviously when you get your lips filled, they swell up a little bit, so mine have swelled. I didn't do the bottom, I just did the top. And like Dr. Bernstein said, we did not like volumize, if that makes any sense. I didn't volumize my lips really. I, um, I just worked on the definition, so the contour of the lip, which will just give me a more defined um, Cupid's bow. So this is how I've been doing my makeup lately and i truly truly love it it makes it even quicker as you guys know single mom in the morning it ain't easy getting an almost six-year-old ready who has a very distinctive fashion sense and opinion is not very easy in the morning and she starts school at eight we have to be there at 10 to 8. so it's a bit of a production to get everything done in the morning. So any trick that makes my makeup go faster is highly welcomed in this household. So this is how I've been doing it and it's been quite time saving. So I don't know if you guys have been following me on Instagram, but on Instagram, I have been doing a giveaway a day leading up to Christmas and the giveaways are phenomenal if I can say so myself. They are getting better and better and better every single day. I have one today that's, any, I mean, by the time this video goes up this evening, there won't be, that one won't be valid anymore. So we'll talk about the new one that's gonna be coming up later. We're gonna be doing a giveaway with 4110 and we're gonna be giving away an Isabelle Marant clutch, which I love this clutch. I was gonna buy it for myself and then I asked them if we could do a giveaway 
for it? And they were like, yes. So, score of life. You guys got the Isabelle Marant clutch that I was gonna buy for myself. I'm giving it to you guys instead. Makeup completed officially. I made myself a quick lunch. Pellegrino, I'm gonna go up to my desk. Let's go get some work. You have Boursin, tuna, basil crackers, and some olives. Yum. Okay, so I just got off a call. I was working on so working on my, I don't even know if I showed you my agenda, but when I was tilting my phone, I was looking to show you my agenda. I just finished booking all of my giveaways for the month because I'm doing a giveaway a day on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you've definitely missed out. Um, but I'm doing a giveaway a day and the giveaways are phenomenal. Like it's brands I work with, companies I work with, some of my friends who own their own businesses. The prizes that I've been giving away every day are wild. And I feel like you guys need to follow me on Instagram if you don't follow me on Instagram. So yeah, so I just got off a call and I just finished finalizing two more. I got Polysleep, La Marque. I have Red Sack going up. Like there's some really good. Mademoiselle Jules is going up. 4110's going up. Yeah, there's some really good ones coming up in the next few days. So if you don't follow me, again, follow me. I also just got a Revolve order, which is right there on my desk, and I'm going to do a try-on for you guys because, hey, why not? I got, actually, you know what? I got a My Fashion Trunk order and a Revolve order. So I totally forgot to show you guys these jeans. I got these at 4110 yesterday. They're a Goldie. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. 4110 doesn't have a website, but if you're in Montreal, their jean selection is bananas. I will link these jeans because, like, it's just, like... The fit, like baggy, but still give a good butt, I feel like is practically impossible to find. Please excuse, I have all my filming stuff out. But they are so flattering. They're like fitted at the waist and just like nice and straight and loose the whole way down. So I picked up this top, it's super cute. I'm looking at the mirror behind me. So it's like holiday stuff that I picked up, except this top, you can see my bra straps. Excuse my bra straps. So it's just like a ribbed crop top. I don't think I'd wear a bra with this. Yeah, I think I'd wear it just like this. And it has like the under boob line, which looks really, really good with the high-waisted jeans. I would definitely not wear a bra with this. It's like a nice, like stretchy fabric. Like it would hold, actually, you know what? Let's just take the bra off. There we go, we're braless. It looks much better like this, Oop, the little rope. Okay, so this is the first top I got from Revolve, a brand called All The Ways, and I got it to go back to these pants. These are by L'Academie. I wanted a pair of high-rise, like kind of like fitted pants, like leggings-ish with a slit. I talked about them in like a trends video, and I like really, really, really wanted that look. Uh, but I did want to show you guys these jeans first, which I'm realizing the way the camera is set up, you can't really see. Oh, okay, I think I tilted it right. Okay, so here are the pants. I love the fit. I love how they look. I like that they're dark blue instead of light. Okay, so here's how I see these pants styled. Like, oversized jacket, fitted top underneath. See how there's the slit front with like a lacy sandal or a delicate shoe? This is the aesthetic I'm going for. I love... Oh my God, this look is everything. This is one of my options for the 24th. I love this look. And then I got two other dresses. So I like to dress up for Christmas. I feel like post pandemic, people like kind of stop dressing up and I'm all for it. Like I want to dress up. I want to look super cute. I think this might be my Christmas look. These L'Academie pants are everything. Like you're well-dressed, but you're still super comfortable. You look super cute. I really needed to tie my sandals. But let me show you. I have two other dress options that I want to show you guys. So this next dress I thought was going to be my dress for the 24th, but I think I ordered it too big. I need to size down. This is the size small, but it's like, I don't know. Like I feel like it's kind of loose around the boobies. Like it would have needed to be kind of more fitted to hold in place. But I must say, my boobs look fabulous in this. So I can't complain about it. But like, see how like here, I feel like I need to go one size down. And I don't know if I'm going to get it on time for Christmas. Maybe for New Year's because we have a little party going on. But like, oh, it's such a beautiful dress. I love how it fits. I love the color on me. I just wish I would have sized down. And I need to tape. This is like a duct tape moment. So they just stay exactly like this. 
and I don't need to wear a bra. The last one that I picked up is this. I actually just wanted the skirt and I thought I was ordering just the skirt, but it was actually a set. Uh, it's by Super Down. I wanted to show you guys the full look because if you order it, you will be getting the full look, but I want to show you guys how I was planning on styling it with just the skirt, which I think is fabulous. I was seeing the skirt worn back to like this sweater and like a pair of like sheer black tights. I loved the gray and green combination, like a casual, but like cute and pretty look. Ooh, and I have to show you guys, I ordered this trench coat by Heartloom because I thought it was so good. So this is an extra small, so it's made oversized. It has a hood incorporated that you can remove, but I personally love the hood. I love that the sleeve kind of has like a bouffant going on here, but it also holds up really nicely here. I feel like with the hood, I'm gonna wear this to go pick up Buka because like, yes, it's snowing, but it's not that cold. So I feel like this is like the perfect day to wear this. Plus it has the hood. I am obsessed with this trench coat. I picked this up and I was like, oh, this is such a score in my wardrobe. I need to iron it though because it looks like it needs to be ironed. Ooh, and my little outfit underneath was not expecting that vibe. But seriously though, even like this top worn back to just like a pair of jeans. I just wanted to show you guys how I'm gonna wear it. Like this is my actual look of the day. I feel like this is just such like a good understated cute look. So we just parked to go get some pizza and Luca fell in love with this car. So the snow's pretty bad. It's pretty, yeah, we got a lot. I don't think that's the words. Let's get some dominoes. I think that's our pizza. I ordered us a giant pizza. Why? Because I'm really hungry and you eat more pizza than I do. Uh, yeah, but... Oh, they put sauce. It's not ours. We're in preparation. Oh, he's very talented, babe. Mm -hmm. He's super good. So we ate pizza. We cuddled, we watched a movie, and now I'm watching Yellowstone. I am at the end of season one. I've kept it going, guys. Thumbs up for Yellowstone. I keep on saying it. I don't know what it is that keeps me coming for it, but like, I can't stop watching. I'm intrigued to the max. I don't know any cowboys. I don't know anything about that life, but for some reason, I'm heavily intrigued. And it's Friday, and I'm in bed watching Yellowstone. So I will end the vlog here. Hopefully it'll be up by tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I missed filming vlogs. Thumbs up for vlogs. Make sure to thumbs up this video so I know you'd like to see more vlogs. And I don't have anything else to say besides I love you so, so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.